Hello everyone, welcome to Academy Coordinates. In this video, I'll be determining the volumetric flow rate, which is denoted as Q, and we are dealing with a hagen pozel flow. Before us, we're also given the velocity profile, right? And I've drawn a diagram here, which is gonna assist us in this regard. So the volumetric flow rate is velocity multiplied by area, right? So let's just dive right into it. Looking at this diagram here, this is um, a parabolic profile, right? We are going to uh, be determining Q. We're going to start from R is equals to 0 to R is equals to big R over here. So now um, it's going to be area multiplied by velocity. So our area is pi R squared. We're going to multiply that by the average velocity. And so guys, because or since the velocity varies over the cross-sectional flow area, we have to integrate. So we're going to integrate from R is equals to zero to R is equals to big R here. Then over here, we're gonna put our velocity profile, which is one over four times, times mu. Then this is the pressure gradient. Uh, multiplied by r squared minus the small r squared here. And then we are going to differentiate, or oh, sorry, integrate in terms of r, right? Then we continue. Then now it's the normal integration that we are used to. Um, okay, so we're going to take outside all the constants. Remember that we are integrating in terms of R. So even the pressure gradient needs to be taken outside. Okay. Um, then 2 pi. Then now from 0 to big R, we are left with R squared minus small R squared. Um, r dr okay cool so at this point we can also um divide by um this area here so the average velocity equals to one over four u times the pressure gradient um multiplied by two pi divide by pi r squared, right? Then we are integrating from 0 to r. Then we're going to multiply it by r over here. So we've got big R squared r minus, so r times r squared, that is r cubed dr. Then now, guys, we are ready to integrate, right? So 1 over 4 u. So these ones are not affected by the integral. The pressure gradient. So this and this are going to divide 2 over r squared. Um, let's integrate. So um, this is going to be 1 over 2 uh, big r squared r squared minus... 1 over 4 r to the 4th from 0 to r. Okay, then we continue minus dp over dz. Um, 2 over r squared. So, um, let us substitute the bounds over there. So we're going to have 1 over 2. Um, we're going to insert um, this r over here times r squared. That is going to be r to the 4th minus 1 over 4. If we insert this r over here, it's going to be big r to the 4th minus... When we insert 0 here, everything is going to be 0. Just going to put a big 0 over there. Then 1 over 4 u, um, the pressure gradient, 
2 over r squared. Okay, so half r to the fourth minus a quarter r to the fourth. So we're going to get 1 over 4 r to the fourth. And then, so what is going to happen now is that um, we're just going to divide here by r squared. Then over here, we're going to have r um, squared over there. And then our um, average velocity is being simplified further. This is, this will not change. Let's keep over z um, then over here um, divide by 2 and then you will have a 2 here um, and then what do we have now we've got r squared divide by 2 so we divide everything by 2 okay then guys at this point in time we have found our average um, velocity you know so it's r squared multiplied by multiplied by the pressure gradient multiplied by 1 over form u divide by 2 you know and we know that um, the average velocity equals to the maximum velocity divide by 2 and just take note, guys, that the maximum velocity will be in the middle here because that is where there is, there is less friction, you know? So that is where the maximum velocity would be. And as we have said that, you know, the volumetric flow rate equals to area over here, then we're going to multiply that area with the average velocity that we have found average velocity and we are also obviously aware that this is the area times um, the average velocity can also be expressed as the maximum velocity over two you know so now what is the area the area is going to be pi r squared multiplied by what multiplied by the maximum velocity um, over 2. So basically, what is the maximum velocity? The maximum velocity is going to be... Um, okay, let me write it here. The maximum velocity is going to be 2 multiplied by the average velocity. Right? Then there is the average velocity. So... Um, the maximum velocity now boils down to what? To um, 1 over 4 times mu um, multiplied by the pressure gradient multiplied by r squared, right? And then all of this, in this case, so this is, this is, this is what we have. This is the maximum velocity here um, over 2 right so if we divide this by two and then um, now it's a matter of you know simplification over here so let us simplify um so that's pi r squared over two multiplied by one over four mu um multiplied by the pressure gradient r squared okay guys and also as we can see that we have got r squared here and here so that is going to multiply each other to be r to the fourth so what do we have we're going to have pi um and then this two is going to multiply this one over here so we're going to have pi um, beneath we're gonna have eight mu right and then the pressure gradient remains the same dp over dz okay and then r squared multiplied by r squared that is r to the fourth you know so 
we have arrived at our volumetric flow rate. So we have found our volumetric flow rate to be this over here. This is our volumetric flow rate, right? Um, volumetric flow rate is denoted as Q. Okay, guys, I trust um, you appreciate this. Um, let me know if there are any uncertainties. Have a blessed day.